I'm Coyote Peterson, and this is an ocelot. Hi, buddy. Ah, jeez, bit me right in the face. There's an old saying that things go bump in the night. And if you were out exploring the darkness of Costa Rica's most diverse region, the Osa Peninsula, those things that go bump also stalk stealthily in the shadows, just before they charge, pounce, and attack. Whoa, that's a wild ocelot. And she's right here at my feet. Look at that, how cool is that? Fortunately for me, in the encounter you were about to witness, I was about to become a playmate, and not an item, on the Rainforest Nightly Menu. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you what we have going on here. This is really unique. Uh, we're out night herping, looking for reptiles and amphibians. Walking down the trail, I literally stop, and I'm shining my light on this giant wolf spider, biggest wolf spider I've ever seen. And out of the darkness, I hear, and boom, an ocelot just zooms right past me. And let me see if I can get her back. She likes my snake stick. Wait for this. There she is. See that? She's gonna come right up here and, ah, ah, she's attacking my arm. Where are you? Come here, up here, come here. Right ah. Oh, there she is. Look what I got in my hands. Look at that ocelot. Hey, buddy. Wow, and she is a lot heavier than you would think. Okay, can you stay here for the scene? We can play with the snake stick. She's gonna be all over the place while we're filming. This is a wild cat. However, she is used to humans. She hangs out on this trail. We were told if you walk this trail at night, there's a good chance that you will come across her. Let's see, what else do I maybe have for you to play with? Let's see what we got in my pack. I'm sure there's something in here that a little ocelot would love. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Took the pack off and now she's on my back. Maybe just the pack itself. Look at that. Oh yeah. We wrestle with the back, wrestle with the back. Huh? Get it. Get it. Look at that coloration. Now this cat blends so perfectly into its environment. All this cryptic patterning allows them to stay hidden in the shadows as they're moving through all of this foliage. Come here. You come here for a second. I'm just gonna hold on to you and, and take the risk of a bite, oh, and a scratch. A paw to the face. A paw to the face. <laughs> How about a little belly rub? Yeah, I hear you talking. You got that pack? Can you see her face? Oh. Look at that. Now this is just like a big house cat. She's only about half grown right now, but look at, she weighs about 25 pounds. Oh, I see you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, she's biting my ear. Oh, she's biting, ow. Where's that kiss or a bite? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You are. Don't go for my jugular though. These cats are lethal once fully grown, and they can take down pretty much anything that's out here in the Costa Rican rainforest. All they have to do is run, leap, sink in those front claws, and then a bite to the jugular, and she's got a meal. Whew, that was crazy, kissed by an ocelot. Where'd you go? There she is, and the pounce. Oh, <laughs> oh Mario, uh -oh. Oh, got the man. camera, man. Now she has found the microphone. Oh, no, no. Mark, I think we need a new mic. We, ju we just need one for ocelots to play with. I knew it was a matter of time. <laughs> I was expecting creepy crawlies, not something as cute. Oh, Whoa. as an ocelot. <laughs> you, you gotta get that landing down, you know that? That's what she does. She's been leaping, come here, from log to log, and she literally launches over the log. Oh, yeah, well, let go, she says. Oh. So, Coyote, is this rare? This is probably the most unique thing I have ever done with an animal. Ah, yeah, she's got a hold of me now. There, see, that's what she would want. She's going for the jugular, and hopefully she just doesn't bite me hard. Ah, okay. All right, I'm keeping my eyes closed so I don't take a claw in the eyeball. That would be bad. Look at so, this. So just so everybody knows, this is not a captive animal. No, this is a wild ocelot, 100% wild right now. Now, I would never recommend you go out in the wild and ever try to get this close to an ocelot, because if it didn't want to play, it could really do some serious damage. And she is just loving me right now. You are just the most adorable thing I think I've ever met. Your hat's all messed up. Yeah. Well, yeah, probably did a number on my hat, didn't you? Let's so is see. This, is this a kitten? This is a kitten. She's probably 
only a few months old, and you can see those paws. Come here, let's take a look at your paws. You see those paws right there? I see, yep, you try to whack me in the face with those paws. Those paws are how they climb so well through this rainforest ecosystem. Is she behind me right now? Yeah, you're probably gonna get pounced. I feel like when I make these sort of movements, that's when she pounces, and that's what they do. They creep up really slowly, staying hidden, and then they see a sudden movement like this, and they do that, a paw in the mouth. They go right for the neck, or the head in this case. Ah, jeez, I just got bit in the eye. And <laughs> then they have their dinner. Ouch. Ooh, ooh, she's licking my ear. That feels weird. I've never had my ear licked before by an ocelot. First time for everything. Ah, yep, ooh, that's good. She's training right there. She's going for the back of my neck. Hopefully she's not gonna inflict that death wound. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, <sighs> yeah, okay. All right, guess you're there. Ow, I see you. You're so playful. Now, if I was one of her litter mates, this is exactly how she'd be playing. You know, those claws are sharp. The teeth are sharp. I'm getting slight little itty bitty punctures here and there, but nothing that I can't take. Not to be this close to such a cool rainforest creature. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. I'm sure it's probably pretty hard to believe what you just witnessed. Coyote Peterson, palling around with a wild ocelot. But believe it or not, it's completely true. For nearly three hours, this curious cat followed the crew and I through the rainforest, as we observed and filmed her behaviorisms in a totally natural habitat. This sort of an encounter with a wild animal is something one can only dream of. And I feel incredibly fortunate to have shared these moments in time with one truly special cat. If you thought hanging out with an ocelot was cool, make sure to check out this scene where she tried to eat a crab. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.